Gary, uh, the smell, weirdly enough, it, it doesn't smell like your typical fire down here. The wind is taking it uh, to the east of Birmingham. But as you can see right over my shoulder, smoke still coming out of this building right now. Um, the captain did tell me a crew, another crew just arrived. Uh, more than 60. More than 60 firefighters are here on the scene. The reason for that is that they have to rotate these firefighters through every 20 minutes to battle this blaze. It's totally engulfed this building. This building here is uh, business, reliable form, former uh, formed plastics, LLC. And as you can see, that smoke's still coming outside the building. And if you take a look up, the crews are still trying to put water down on it right now. And Stefan, um, you see the, again, the crews the most going inside the building. The most important. You saw the firemen. The firemen just went inside the building because they're still trying to determine what caused this fire. Yes, yes, and we also heard there were some propane tanks inside. Uh, someone had mentioned they heard a boom earlier, about 25, 30 minutes ago. The captain said he was going to go up and confirm that. Presumably, that's from the fire getting to those propane tanks that are inside. Uh, like I said, it's not so much out of control is more they're trying to get a handle on it and also replenish these crews all the way through. Um, just down here, there's a no, whole other set of crews that just went on the, in and on the other side of this building trying to tackle this fire. Uh, as I was driving in, I mean, I-65 is adjacent to where this building is and there's major traffic delays over there because everyone sees this plume of smoke that is just going into the air covering Birmingham. You could even see it from Highway 280. Uh, but the most important thing here is that no one has been injured, at least to the captain's knowledge. He said no one has been injured. Everyone made it out of the building safely. He's now going over there to learn new details about uh, what happened, how this all got caused. And as soon as we learn any updates, we'll be sure to bring it to you live here on air and online at WIT.com. All right, Stefan Dingle down there live for us. We'll let you go gather new information.